Do royals have last names like the rest of us? The answer is a little complicated, but it's best explained by looking at the children of Prince Harry and Duchess Meghan. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex have two kids together, Archie, born in 2019, and Lilibet, born in 2021. The children don't hold royal titles, so they instead use the unusual surname. Mountbatten Windsor. Though the hyphenated name has decades of history, it's come into the spotlight especially with the birth of Archie, who has used it more prominently than any other royal family member. As well, the full name of Harry and Meghan's baby girl is now Lilibet Diana Mountbatten Windsor. And, like Lilibet's first name, her last name connects directly to the Queen herself. Mountbatten Windsor is the surname used by male line descendants of Queen Elizabeth II and her late husband, Prince Philip. It actually combines the names of their royal households with Philip's before the Queen's. As a paternal grandchild of the Queen, Prince Harry passed down the name to his children. So, you might be thinking, is it then Prince Harry Mountbatten Windsor? Well, not quite. Prince Harry and other royals with titles and styles do not use the surname, except in cases when they're required to list one on documents, like a marriage certificate. Prince Andrew and Princess Anne did this on each of theirs. Prince Harry, however, did not use Mountbatten Windsor when he married former actress Meghan Markle in 2018. He used his official title, Prince Henry of Wales, on the certificate. But Harry and Meghan have now had two children, neither of whom hold an official royal title yet. They do hold the courtesy titles of Master, Archie, and Lady, Lilibet, but their parents haven't presented them using those titles. Archie and Lilibet are also currently entitled to become a prince and princess when Prince Charles ascends the throne, as they would be grandchildren of the monarch at that time. However, the issue of the future titles came up in the Oprah interview, where Meghan claimed unnamed royals don't want Archie to become a prince because he is of mixed race. Meghan's claim hasn't yet been resolved, though some insiders say Prince Charles is behind the decision because he wants a slimmed down monarchy when he's king. The race factor hasn't been verified yet either. So, what does it mean to be a Mountbatten Windsor? We know it's a combination of Prince Philip's and the Queen's royal households, but the names came about through an interesting sequence of events in history. The first surname for the British royal family was Windsor, as chosen by King George V in 1917. Earlier, his household had the very German name Saxe Coburg and Gotha, passed down from Queen Victoria's husband, Prince Albert. But, in 1917, amid World War I, King George V changed the name to Windsor after Windsor Castle. Saxe, Coburg and Gotha was abandoned due to wartime anti-German sentiment. The King declared that all male line descendants of his grandmother, Queen Victoria, would bear the name of Windsor. This stood until 1960, when Queen Elizabeth II amended it. Prince Philip and the Queen wanted their descendants to be distinguished from other royal family members, so in 1960 they added Philip's name of Mountbatten ahead of Windsor. Mountbatten, meanwhile, has a history of its own and was not Prince Philip's original royal household. He was born into Greek and Danish royalty, but became a naturalized British subject when he married the future Queen in 1947. Typically, a British woman would take her husband's surname in marriage, but this tradition prompted a debate within the palace on the royal household's name when the future queen was due to be married. The incident, also dramatized in The Crown, saw Prince Philip and his uncle Lord Mountbatten overruled by figures including Prime Minister Winston Churchill, who insisted that Windsor remain the name despite marital tradition. 
On his wedding day, Prince Philip renounced his Greek and Danish royal titles and adopted the surname Mountbatten from his maternal grandparents, the German Prince Louis and Princess Victoria. But Windsor remained the name of the royal household. Like the story of Windsor and Saxe, Coburg and Gotha, Prince Philip's name Mountbatten was formerly Battenberg. But the Battenbergs changed their German name in 1917 to the anglicized Mountbatten during the war. The Queen and the Duke of Edinburgh then made their change to the Windsor surname in 1960, adding on Mountbatten. Prince Harry and Duchess Meghan's children bear the name Mountbatten Windsor as a result of this history. Most of the Queen's male line descendants have royal titles, so not many of them use Mountbatten Windsor as a conventional surname like Archie and Lilibet do. Prince Edward, the Queen's youngest son, did not give his children royal titles, but they do use the courtesy titles of Lady Louise and Viscount James. Lady Louise and Viscount James's full names do include Mountbatten Windsor, however. Prince Andrew only had daughters, and they are both princesses who do not use the surname. Princess Anne did not pass on the name when she got married, so her children bear their father's surname. And Prince Charles' other son, Prince William, as a future king, made his two sons princes and his daughter a princess. Add it all up and Mountbatten Windsor is a rather scattered story of British royal tradition. A world war, Germany, and Prince Philip. But it's why young Archie and Lilibet are Mountbatten Windsors today. <laughs>